one of Igbo's lawyer, one of his lawyers, Olushe Gonfalola, has disclosed why the agitator was chained by the Benin Republic security agents. Fala disclosed that Igbo was chained to prevent him from disappearing mysteriously. According to Falola, Beninite security agents were told that Igbo could turn into a cat and escape. Saying, when I arrived from Paris at the custody where Igbo was detained, he was first chained. They were scared that he could just disappear into the thin air because of his mystical powers. The police told me that if Igbo's chains were untied and he escapes mysteriously, the police officer will be stripped of his rank and also dismissed. The police officer said he was told that Igbo could disappear or turn into a cat and many other things were said to the police officers which made them tie him, he told the nation. The lawyer however disclosed that his timely intervention led to the officers on chaining Igbo. Igbo was arrested recently in Kotonou while attempting to travel to Germany. The Yoruba Nation Freedom Fighter had fled Nigeria to Kotonou after he was declared wanted by the Department of State Services, DSS. DSS had declared Igbo wanted after weapons were allegedly discovered in his house in Ibadan, or your state. Well, I don't know when the government starts believing in mystical power because they don't believe it. If you take a case of spiritual matter to, to police or to government or to, to court, they don't believe in that. So why are they now bothered or worried that if they had not changed Sunday Google that it would have disappeared? Why are they believing that? In as much they have locked their they've locked their the prison yard, they're why worried that oh he might escape or not. And when we talk about a uh, human rights, they will tell you begin to tell you that uh, oh we we practice the best whatever whatever according to international laws. But that is not what is obtainable. They bend some rules, they bend some things just to accommodate their own defense. Of course, those are the things that uh, we have been hearing. And some people will tell you that the Nigerian government does not have an in that. How did they know? How did they come about the his disappearance or to know about his disappearance when the DSS raided his house some weeks or month one month ago? You see? Well, someone says good for him. This is what happens when you claim to have mysterious power that you didn't have. Well, God judge you for commenting such or making say such statements to him i beg tie him where well, well low if it disappear now this tie he take escape from nigeria especially when bene is a headquarters of a voodoo's hmm. you can imagine what these people are saying daniel you continue i think uh, they have arrested Igbo. they have arrested the namikano your life is, is better now unless maybe you are a terrorist because it is only the terrorists that will be speaking in this language a normal human being will not be speaking the way all these people are really are really doing it's good for him yes things are expensive in the country nobody should talk if shawara comes out now they will tell you he does not have rights shawara is not even talking about a division of the country or is claiming or is talking about or fighting for good governance the same the the devil the child the devil's children will still come out and say oh you don't have right to do that oh go and go and go and um test your popularity you see that the uh, even that is why god himself he said he regretted creating human being he regretted creating human being because when you are saying something they'll be doing another thing and they are the ones who are suffering the more the same set of people will not be calling on god god please oh come and help us oh come and do this and that and that is why the this thing still continues that's why the suffering still continues because there is a principle God that He has already arranged everything. There are some things that He will do. There are some things He wants you to do as a person. He has given you the ability to do some things. But no, we don't want to do that because of a laziness, because of whatever. He has given us power over a lot of things. But we are not exercising such powers. And that is why the Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge because the knowledge has been given but they are not seeking for that knowledge because they want to go the other way because he has given us a lot of power a lot of ability to do things and that is why if you like pray from that eternity there are some things that you need to do and there are some things he has given you power you don't even need to pray about them 
he has given you that ability. It's not by your own power, but he has given you that ability, but you don't want to do that. So, that is the kind of people we have in our society all over the world. All over the world. It is what it is, and it is very, very unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. So, whether it disappears, it does not disappear. Where has that left Nigeria? Or what is championing or agitating for? Are they not genuine? They are genuine, but the children of doom, the children of darkness, we never see it in that line. They are always there to antagonize. And they will still suffer. They will still suffer. They prefer to suffer than for them to be liberated. Of course, a typical example was when Jesus came to rescue men. What did they do? They said all manner of things. Even up to today, it's still like that. So the world now is survival defeated. God has given whatever God has given you, you have to manage it and work towards it. If you want to continue in your own way, then you will reap what you have sown. The question we need to be asking is that the issue of Sunday Igbo are the cases not genuine? It is they are genuine, but the wickedness of the of the wicked will not allow people to see the true picture of and the reality of things that is it it will not allow them to do that <clears throat> saying if a uh, sunday boo if not cheat so somebody who wants to be who wants to disappear or turn into cat hmm, you think uh, it would be it would be difficult for him to do that chaining him or not chaining him <clears throat> hmm. All the quarry is 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 unfortunate. <laughs> Can you imagine? Let them continue in their deceit. A lot of people said many many things. As soon as this man was arrested, the question is that how do you expect them? How do you expect them to get the right thing? Well, if I may ask, what did this man do? He refused Fulani from killing Yoruba people for. That federal government is bent on killing him, and those that call themselves are not talking. And anyone who stands on the way of Fulani Esme must be killed. I think Buhari is no longer governing Nigeria; he is championing war of Fulani against the rest of the world as a Fulani warlord. Uh, you see why Nigeria needs to be divided. This is the worst uh, president I have ever seen in my life. This one is referring to Buhari. Yes, very big lie. Where are the pictures of the cats and that and that of the buildings that were redoed with bullets? Ibo just want to train with Kano. Okay, I have the video here. You want to train with Kano? Okay, like I said, you know, the heart of man is desperately, desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know it? Nobody. <laughs>